Hello and welcome everyone. It's Karen. I have got another same supplies but two different cards video for you today. Uh, and today I chose to use products that were either newer to me or that I hadn't really used much in the past. And that's what this embossing folder is. I've rarely used it. But it is the, it's a beautiful 3D embossing folder from Sizzix. And this is new for me. It's the Honey Bee Coneflower Layering dies. Now I always die cut a set of whatever the dies cut because I just visualize things more easily that way. So that's what that is. I just store it in the package. It's a green flower. <laughs> and then here this is Spellbinders Glimmer Edge Butterflies which I foiled up with different uh, colors of foil and I thought that would go with the flower so I, I'm going to use those today. That's also a newer set for me. So there you have it, flowers and butterflies. It's got to be spring soon. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. So for both cards, I did some ink blending with those uh, Lucky Clover, Cracked Pistachio, Peacock Feathers, and Mermaid Lagoon. And then I ran this through, this card front through my the embossing folder. Now that is... I think it's a scrub brush or a nail brush. I'm not entirely sure. It's from the dollar store, but it has different grades of grit on each side. And it's just perfect for uh, sanding off those raised edges of, from the embossing folder. So that's what I'm doing there, which that just brings out the pattern, I feel, a little bit better. So you can see it there. And then I just spritz that with some Perfect Pearls and set that aside to dry. Now, this is the other piece that I needed to use, but it was it's nine inches long, so I had to run this one through the embossing folder twice, and there is a bit of a ridge where they don't quite meet up, but it's okay. Now, this is my biggest tip for you, you guys. I found this tape at my Walmart. It's Scotch Wall Safe Tape. You guys probably already know about this, but it is the perfect tackiness for die cutting. It's a bit like a post-it note, and it's perfect. I just love it. It doesn't pull apart, doesn't tear my paper. It sticks everything down. It's perfect. So I'm ink blending up all my die cuts now, and I went over with a lighter color. So for the pink, it was Kitsch Flamingo, and then I'm going back in with Picked Raspberry on a finger brush just to darken up the centers of the flowers. And I did that with each um, layer of flowers. And the same for the leaves. I used some peeled paint and mowed lawn and I just went over with the peeled paint and then went back in with the finger brush with the mowed lawn and just put a little bit darker center. Really, I wasn't, it's not technical or anything. I was just trying to get a darker area. And then to put these together, these flowers have got some notched edges that if you bend them and sort of, pinch them with your fingers you get this very pretty raised effect it's a very 3d kind of a look so that's what I was doing there just ruffling up the edges of those flowers and then when I glued them together I tried to offset how they layered up I'm not sure if that's how it's meant to go or not but it kind of meant I angled that center a little bit differently but I really liked that all the layers showed up so I did assemble all the flowers um, for both cards ahead of time. I just had everything ready to go. They're really pretty flowers though. They're quite large, uh, but I love that 3D look to them. They're all slightly ruffled up and really quite realistic. Okay, so for this first card, I am doing this the hard way. <laughs> I wanted to mask off the outside of that frame and I just did some ink blending on the inside of it. So that's all I'm doing here. Um, and I do spritz this with a little bit of water. I've got that wood frame is actually from Hero Arts. I think it's just called wood frame. I'll list everything below though. Uh, and that happy everything is from Creative Expressions. I just had that in my stash of extra sentiments. But I thought it kind of went with this. So I decided to use that. So for the butterflies, now I did all of these together too. Um, I just, after they were foiled, uh, I'm just putting some Distress Oxide inks on. 
uh, with finger daubers. So just going around the centers with a little bit darker color and then just went with lighter colors out from there. And then took a dry cloth and just wiped off any excess off the foil. And they're so pretty. They That foil is really nice. So I'm gluing this card front down. Uh, you'll see, I'm doing this first and you'll see on the inside I'm doing a pop-up box. So um, I wanted this done and out of the way before I got the inside done. Okay, so for this inside pop-up, I am using this strip of nine by two and a half inch cardstock that I've ink blended and embossed. And I'm going to score it at a half an inch, one inch, one and a half inches. And then again at four and three quarters, five and a quarter, and five and three quarter inches. And you'll see in a minute uh, why I'm doing this. It kind of makes a bit of a purse-like pop-up box, I would say. It's got some folded, the, the creasing here is for the folded ends. So it's a little bit different, that's all. And then you, I scored it along half an inch half an inch in from the long edge so right there at that two inch mark and so where that uh, first fold is next to the long section you make that a mountain fold so I'm burnishing that and then I did a valley fold and a mountain fold so mountain valley mountain just really burnishing both of those so there you can see that sort of M or W shape and the same at the other end. So a mountain fold next to the long section. And then a valley fold and a mountain fold. And just crease those with the bone folder. And then there you can see that sort of a bit like a purse looking shape. And then I'm folding in the long section along the long edge. Now you don't need all of that. So you only need those tabs where you have the long, the wide section. So wherever it's being folded and creased, that part can come out. So that's what I'm cutting away there. So that's the long section. So we'll keep that part. And then just at the end that you don't need. And then I just angled all of these tabs. You don't have to do this. It just makes it a little bit neater and I don't know if it makes it easier, but it's just, I think, neater um, for when you go to fold everything in. So you don't need that part, so you should be left with something that looks a bit like that. And now you can see how when it folds down, it's going to make this little pop-up box. It's a bit like a purse. So I'm putting double-sided tape down on all those tabs, so on the end tab and the two bottom tabs. And then to assemble this, you're going to take that backing off that end tab, fold them all back down, all the layers back down, and then in the middle, fold those layers back in the way they're meant to go, and then just fold it over and press it down into the tape. And that's that side done. Now here's the inside of the card, and what you want to do is remove the release paper from just one side of those uh, end tabs, line it up with the crease of the card and make sure it's centered across the widthwise and then just fold the card down on it and press the tape in and then flip it over and do exactly the same thing on the other side just take that release paper off and fold the card up and over and it should be stuck exactly where it's meant to go so that's the inside pop-up pretty easy and you could if you wanted, so I did mountain, valley, mountain, but if you didn't want that, you could make your creases all go out into mountain, mountain peaks, but that's this one. Okay, now I've got one of these flowers to go on the inside. I did not ruffle this one because it is on the inside, so it's fairly flat. It's actually too big for this, <laughs> but I was doing this and I had it in my mind and so I did it. But I'm putting it in and I just want to make sure now that it doesn't extend past the top when the card is closed. So that's what I was working on there. So it's on a piece of acetate and now I'm just going to tape it into the inside of the box. 
just sticking it to the front of that pop-up box and making sure it doesn't go past. And the butterflies I've got up on acetate also, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to make sure that uh, it doesn't extend past the end when the card is closed. And that's where I would have liked that butterfly to go. Um, and this is why I think the, car, the flower was a little bit too big for this card. Uh, because you can't really extend the butterflies higher than the, car, the flower. But I was on a mission and I got it done. <laughs> so there you go. All the butterflies are in there with that flower, and that's the inside. So I think it's kind of a fun surprise on the inside, though. They're definitely pretty little butterflies. Now I'm just attaching the front, the card front, to my card, and I just use glue just so it's a little bit easier to wiggle it around and line everything up. And I'm just pressing everything down. And that's the first card done. So kind of fun. It's a little bit of a different pop-up on the inside, but there you have it. Okay, and then for the second card, I had everything pretty much ready. So that's the embossed front that I did. I've attached it to my card base. And I had that happy birthday in my stash also. Now here I thought I would put two flowers on, but I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to get everything onto this card. These flowers are quite big. I was, they're, they're big. <laughs> so, but I was determined to put two flowers on. So I'm just uh, putting the butterfly down. I've glued everything else on now. And all I did is added a little bit of um, a foam, double-sided foam tape in behind those wings just to help pop it up a little bit and to give it a bit more um, to secure it to that paper because otherwise it's just the body that's glued down. So that's the second card done. Same supplies but different cards. Um, the pop-up is definitely fun on the inside. I mean I love cards that have a surprise on the inside for, for the recipient so I do like that. But there you have it. Two different cards again. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I hope I'll see you again next time. Have a great day.